Welcome back to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. We have seen more data that has shown up on gold. We have seen another two days of uh, the price increment, and then we are at one of the important places, and so I thought I'll need to update, uh, to give an update on gold and silver, and we'll also discuss uh, Forex market that will especially include Euro, Canadian dollar, British pound and we're going to discuss them one by one first of all more data has been um, revealed uh, in the corresponding markets of uh, of gold and i have looked into some other mining companies as well more clarification has come up uh, so the new date i'm going to give you a new date for the bottom to be existed first of all uh, we were looking at february uh, 14th and 15th now it has been pushed uh, at least three weeks uh, further down and the date the new date that I'm giving you is March 11th we are expecting uh, a bottom uh, around March 11 okay so this is the new date that we're expecting the uh, the bottom to be formed uh, is uh, is a lot of uh, uh, going through the research it's a lot of the it's a lot of analysis especially as far as time analysis is concerned as more data is uh, revealed to me on the corresponding markets and I thought I'll be uh, able to absorb it more accurately and hence the analysis that we are going to see a bottom in gold around March 11 if March 11 March 11 is Friday if March 11 not then we should expect to see it on March 12 or 13 so March 11 12 13 is actually on Sunday so 14 or 15 so March 11 or we should see a bottom or either we should see it around March 14 15 so these three days are important that's Friday uh, Monday and Tuesday let's have a look what uh, I'm looking at right now I can see that there is a head and shoulder pattern that we can see on a four hourly time frame and we can see uh, an important point right here so we can see there is a left shoulder and there's the head and then there's right shoulder I'm expecting that the price now would actually go on further down from over here uh, but before we can actually form this uh, analysis that price should actually return because j right now it's uh, bouncing off the one of the resistance level is there a possibility it can go up right over here and turn there is certainly a possibility therefore an interesting uh, a much better uh, option is to actually wait for the break of this or if you want to be really more uh, careful in that case this support double top is very important if price falls below this support we are looking further down is your choice how you want to look at it uh, there are two major supports I'm looking at it this major support and this major support this is much closer and this can give you a better entry so right now I'm looking for the bearish price action in gold I'm expecting the gold is going to go carry down further we're expecting a bottom to be forming around uh, March 11 we have a couple of very important points first of all we have one low right over here there's a target that gold should come right over here if gold can easily penetrate this area the next target is right one this right over here and the next one is right around at this bottom which is at this point once again we'll keep a close eye on the on the date as well as long as date is not met we are going to be staying bearish on gold and I'm expecting a similar behavior uh, on in uh, silver as well let's discuss silver as well here I'm expecting that we are seeing a head and shoulder pattern being formed in silver as well. I'm not expecting for the price to all go right over here. There is a possibility though. That's why uh, there is, we need to actually wait for the, the break of the support. The horizontal support that we are seeing is this one right over here. This is the one of the highs that we have. This should get broken to give us a confirmation that we are looking to be bearish and the support the diagonal support that we have right over is this one so it's your decision how you want to look at it uh, the moment we get, con get a confirmation of what the top is the break of this horizontal support or a much better support is this one when this supports get broken and price moves head down one and that'll be an indication that we're looking for the price of silver to go further down and significantly down once again we'll be looking at gold as far as the bottoming is concerned we are definitely looking for much lower prices in silver. Uh, as far as the price target is concerned, first price target is right over here. Uh, and the next one price target is right over here. The next one is right over here, 16.99. And if it crosses that, we are looking to right over here at 13.86. 
uh, once again we have do not have a lot of time action is left there is a possibility that we can see price action something like this so I wanted to give the very important resistance areas as far as uh, uh, silver is concerned once again I am bearish in silver and I'm expecting that we will see our regular uh, bumps uh, regular uh, pullbacks when price falls back in silver so I'm bearish I'm clearly bearish on silver we have discussed gold and silver already I'm bearish in gold and bearish in uh, silver let's have a look at euro euro has given us an important price action we were looking for uh, we were thinking that the price movement has completed right over here but right now this seems to be the uh, one of the correction is called uh, expanded flats right over here uh, here we can see three wave structure three wave structure and a five wave structure so right now I'm looking for the price to follow down all the way back right over here this was the target from our previous analysis uh, 1.09572 I am bearish on silver strongly uh, I mean euro uh, strongly but we should once again wait for the break of the support to give us an indication when exactly the top has been uh, made this is the diagonal support that we have we can combine these two and let's see what comes up okay this is right right over here we should wait for the let's get back to our time frame so this is the when as long as prices can actually fall below this particular support line it's a good support line if you want to be a little bit more careful you can draw this particular support line which is more uh, flatter uh, as compared to the previous strat line and this will give us an indication that we are actually looking downward now we have the re clearly uh, prices bouncing off the resistance right now uh, for the price going up and we can see the bounce is there but right now prices are still in holding around the support for the prices to go follow further down we need to have this support uh, broken once that support is broken we'll be able to tell that we have seen a top right over here all right so once again I am bearish on Joro uh, for next larger swing and I'm expecting once again next three weeks should be very important for creating uh, three three and a half weeks should be very important for creating a final bottom uh, in Joro and then once that happens then we should expect for the prices to return back into a bullish price movement but right now our main focus is bearish I'm clearly bearish on euro Canadian dollar um, we have seen support coming back on a four hour, uh, four hourly time frame let me break that to right over here we can clearly see first of all that we have seen first leg and then we are seeing some sort of support coming back so right now I'm bullish for uh, Canadian dollar and I'm expecting for the price to go on and test uh, this particular top as well all right so this top is going to be very important we have seen uh, the top uh, reversal f in happening right over here and over here and I'm expecting that we are going to see a triple top around this area right now I'm bullish on the chart that will make Canadian dollar weaker I'm expecting that this price action should carry on right over here and then uh, look into more analysis once prices gets right over here uh, once again I am bullish on the chart right now uh, believing that Canadian dollar is going to get weaker we are seeing a similar uh, pattern that you guys are looking at it it looks like uh, US dollar itself is going to get quite stronger It's gonna be probably the last leg uh, of three three and a half weeks we can say a month uh, starting from today we can say yeah one month at least uh, going for the, if you're looking for the 11th of the March then it makes one month the next one month looks to be uh, important and um, US dollar seems bullish on that all those structures are confirming right now are actually indicating that way at least uh, let's have a look at uh, British pound I'm expecting that we are going to see the price coming down uh, first of all right over here let me give me give you a so right now we have seen the uh, price correction and price right over here the first resistance is right over here but we are definitely looking for this particular move if prices can follow this particular move the next target is gonna be this one right over here and this bottom right over here so important that we keep an eye on the price behavior as well uh, we need to uh, be aware of the smaller time uh, time frame waves as well so first bottom is important I'm bearish on uh, on the, on the chart and I the next target I'm looking for if price can easily penetrate th th this area the next target I'm looking for is this one 
and once again I am bearish on the chart so uh, wish you good luck with your trading if you uh, uh, like my content you can join me on patreon.com forward slash Elliot with uh, green wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye